Hello, I'm Lewis, monitors while she sleeps, you join us in Toulouse. We're in Toulouse? 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 To win or to? Toulouse. To <laughs> this guy. <laughs> um, we'll start off with the top, we'll work down our rack here. Uh, start at the top, we got the M32R, it's nice and uh, nice and small, obviously 32 channel, uh, 16 ounce, handles everything that we need. We are running four stereo pairs for the band uh, and then a load of mono outputs for the crew, wired feed for Sav as well, um, and then we're just grouping some of our talkbacks off stage together, send them back to James at front of house. Um, we'll work our way down, running the... Uh, the cymatics um, for tracks. Um, we can skip through the different tracks here, press play on them. And they're controlled by an iPad at the uh, drum riser as well. Moving down, we've got the Audio Technica RF mic. Uh, that's, that's the receiver for it there, and then the mics. That's our boy. Uh, moving down again, um, we've got the uh, the combiner for the antennas for the PSM 900s. And then these are our stereo ones here. We've got. Matt on stereo, Lars, Sean, and Aaron. Uh, Nath, who's our drum tech, he takes um, he takes a mono feed to his ears. He has a pack which is basically just a exact carbon copy of what Sab takes to his ears. And then we've got a crew one as well, um, which is just uh, it's just pumping out a, a generic mix for everyone really. Moving down again, we got the two DL32s. We've got one for monitors, uh, and then we've got another one um, for front of house. There's a split in the back as well, which we'll probably show you in a second. And that is basically just taking one input, splitting it, splitting it two ways. And then having two of them basically means that we can independently gain them. So if you were to share a stage box using the AES A and B, then it means that someone loses, someone loses gain control um, and they switch to a digital trim, which um, isn't really ideal. So that's why we put a splitter in the way. And then both guys have their own independent uh, stage boxes. Uh, we'll move to the back. Uh, we'll talk about this first as well, where we got some shout mics on stage, which are really helpful for the band. They just feed straight into the ears. The stamp on that there, nice big help button. Uh, talk into that, and that goes into all the crew ears. Um, I don't know. Oh, my string's broken. Oh. That would never happen. Uh, no, it wouldn't. It wouldn't, would it? Restring it. We got day. one of the best guitar techs in the business here, so that would never happen. <laughs> That's just power. That's not interesting. Um, then we got a nice old. Uh, router, uh, and then this is the split at the bottom here. So this is taking all the lines from our stage. At the bottom there, there's all the feeds from the uh, the cymatics, uh, which is holding the tracks as well. That's pretty much it. This last panel on the top as well is just for basically the I/O for the front of house DL32. Um, so we got our digital um, AES outputs, some MIDI that's not being used, and then um, Cat5 going to front of house and Cat5 going to monitors. Um, that's pretty much it from me. Pretty simple setup for this one. Yeah, happy days.